This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Games patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Junk Art in about 3 minutes. It has no solo mode, it's a game for 2-4 to four players, playing time is short to medium, and it's a pretty simple game. You're an artist competing on the Junk Art World Tour. Can you take your odd collection of junk bits and build the most impressive structures you can? The game comes with 12 different sub-games, and for each session you decide how many to do and make that your world tour. Each sub-game is scored separately, and the winner is the player with the most total points from the games played. Card Management There is a deck of cards that matches the pieces. These are used differently in each sub-game. Dexterity Junk Art is all about placing objects on other objects without knocking them down. Player Turn Let's go over the universal rules. First off, in most rounds each player will start with a plain black base. When it is your turn, you will place by hand one object at a time. You can place them anywhere on your structure as long as they don't touch the ground. Drop pieces cannot be replaced and there are normally negative consequences for dropping them. Let's have a look at 5 of the 12 sub games, so you can see the variety of play on offer here. In Gujarat, turn over the cards and each player places a piece matching the card in their own colour. Do this until all player pieces have been placed and the winner is the player with the tallest structure. In Indianapolis, each player has their own deck of cards and you will each turn over one card, find the matching piece and place it. When you have placed you will say done. Once all bar one player has said done, that action ends, meaning one player each round will miss out. The winner again is the player with the tallest structure. Montreal works in a similar way, but here you are racing to turn over your own cards and finish placing all of them. Once one player has placed all their pieces, the round ends, which means a quick player might place many more pieces than a slow one. Again, tallest structure wins. Then we go to Pisa, which has two base blocks in the middle and three face-up cards. Here you are building one structure together. When it is your turn, choose one of the cards and place that piece. This round ends as soon as someone goes to place a piece and it falls off, and all other players are the winner. Paris works in a similar way, but you have a personal hand of three cards and choose one for the player to your left to play. Again, this round ends as soon as someone goes to place a piece and it falls off, and all other players are the winner. And there are seven more sub-games. Play through your world tour, which can be any number of these games until a winner is declared. Why would you like this game? Junk Art to me is what a dexterity game should be all about. A group of folks standing around a table making a lot of noise and getting excited at the prospect of a masterfully dexterous placement or wooden pieces clattering to the ground in failure. I also love just how irregular all the shapes are. Here's all of them in one shot. We've reviewed the wood version which is slightly more expensive than the plastic one but feels so much better to play with. And the idea of being able to pick which sub games you like and have the game go as long as you like is genius. Whether it's 3 or 12 games, you choose the game's length. All up, Junk Art is as good as dexterity games get and suitable for just about anyone. The best thing about this game is somehow placing a block on a teetering pile that really shouldn't fit any more blocks. However, this game is super group dependent and failures will happen a lot. You need to be able to laugh at them. Also, avoid any knobs who think bumping the table is funny on your turn and not theirs. For a different type of dexterity game, try Floating Floors. And for an auction game about art, try Modern Art. Junk Art, the absolute best of its kind, gold medal game. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.